Hello there, Cancer. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I do hope you are well. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancers. Remember that these are general readings, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly. That's all you have to do here. Okay, so the Four of Wands feels like one is experiencing some emotions. They feel like tension, a bit of anger or irateness or, you know, that feeling when you a suppression of emotion, of energies that want to burst out. Maybe someone wants to roar. Are you angry? But instead, one is allowing these emotions to really boil up and cook up within their bodies. So, some of you may need to sweat, may need to do yoga, eat some food, detox your body. I mentioned sea moss in another video, so check out the description box if you want to learn more about, about sea, sea moss. Alright, it's a super food and it helps to detox your body and rid your body of heavy metal toxins especially in these times so if you're feeling extra lazy it's, it's not a bad word lazy but if you're feeling too lazy or you're not having enough energy CMOS helps okay with your energy all right and your energy is super important in manifesting all right so bear that in mind okay so so you're suppressing energy and then some of you do want to burst out. You you do want to say how you feel. I feel you want to be honest with your expressions. You wish you could just be a living, breathing life expression of how you truly feel. As if, listen, this is how I feel about this situation now. And this is how I'm blooming it. This is how I'm presenting it now. You want to walk on the road in whatever swagger of an energy you feel i mean and it feels like upset someone is like upset yeah you know so if you want to express express that i feel artistically as well i feel even um through clothing the way you dress your attitude to express your feelings art okay yeah and you may express yourself even by following your own heart because because i'm getting the energy of rebel so if, if to to do so you may just choose to follow your own heart space it's what takes you away from the norm and then we have guidance i feel you're guided you're protected you're walking in sun's light you know heavenly you are really blessed you may not see it all the time you may not feel it. So it's important for you to go outside. Um, get in tune with nature. I know. It works. Get out. Go outside. Let the bask in the sun's energy. The sun is here for you. The sun energy is alive. The rays as they move across the earth. I, I, I liken it to the tentacles of a of an octopus spreading across land it's a live energy as it rises up and crawls over the earth so you know get some of that vitamin d energy it boosts your mood and we need that energy to manifest to stay in a good vibration don't get trapped don't get trapped you know don't get trapped in fair energy okay so we want to lift all of this burden we need to be outside in the environments um, yeah, so you're also being guided to work, to focus on work, to focus on your talents, to, you know, not be so easily distracted by internal torments, but to put that focus in work, whatever you're good at, study it, practice it, display it, you know, um, form a community as well. So you, your work, and people that can appreciate what it is that you do, get involved 
you know people want to see what it is that you have to offer you may never know i'm telling you just do what you have to do cancer and put yourself out there in some way shape or form just show your work it's going to make you feel good and you're going to be blessed i feel doing it within the presence of the sun the sun energies material success and abundance healthy relationships new beginnings childlike energies just a burst of newness a new beginning uh, movement traveling relocating it's an energy of hope springing forth you know sitting in the sun basking in sun's light purity just creating moving on earth leaving your own essence that's what life is about but some of you are affected your journey is affected by your past you're trying to pull your past with you along this journey and it make it's even heavier because where you you want to get to this place so bad as if you see your kingdom over yonder and you're you just want to be there so it makes these these past burdens appear even more heavier because you are frustrated with them you really want to release them but you in your mind you're thinking hell i have to bring all of these with me all the way to the kingdom as if you think bringing them to the kingdom with you is going to purify everything and that's when it's all going to be made light but you get to the kingdom when you are made light you have to make yourself light and get to that kingdom all right free yourself lay down your burdens it's okay i know it's 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 easier said than done for all of us in times but dragging past emo and emotions are heavy they are the heaviest let me tell you so dragging emotions with you while, while you see listen i have some and and you're not enjoying the journey when you're dragging past emotions with you you're not imagine if you were walking freely carefree just joyful happily expecting um not allowing past experiences to get you down but just living in the moment on this path on this journey to where you want to be i feel like you'd have more fun you'd stop and smell the roses you'd bask in the sun's light you'd be outside more you take more deep breaths you'd give more thanks because you'd be feeling more appreciative because you're more present in such a beautiful environment earth you are life you are a beautiful life form among beautiful life forms and so it's we have to take moments to appreciate ourselves as life as alive and being able to move past trees past plants that are so beautiful there's so many beautiful other spirits and animals living with us we're not, we're not alone and whatever stresses and burdens you feel you bear i feel in this environment you have help if only you ask if only i feel you could take a minute and sit by yourself beneath a tree and decide say you know i need to continue on this journey but i don't want to bear these burdens anymore you need to sit and have this conversation with yourself it is you alone that is here on this journey it's not your parents and your brothers your sisters your teachers your mentors it is you this is your journey and so you sit and you think what do i want to take with me here on this journey who do i want to be how can i be on this journey more more free feeling more free feeling more happy that's what i want that is the ultimate goal isn't it right to bask in abundance in life okay so how do i achieve this and you rest your burdens to this side in the little sack or the huge sack that you're dragging with you and you realize that you are separate from them after all and you can just get up and run quick <laughs> and never look back if you choose to but guess what you're wondering how your burdens are going to feel like i left you there under the tree i need to cater to these emotions listen you can get up and run you can just lay down that bird that bag and run you don't have to look back but some of you are so attached you have built this some of us this this imaginary uh string that attaches you to your past experiences and you think you have to bear them over your shoulder along on your journey 
and make them who you are. And then when something appears on your journey, you dig up in your bag and say, how can I relate this experience to something that happened in the past? And your bag, your bag of burdens, they find something to appear to you and say, oh, this, this, madam, because you ask. This is this, this, and then you get disappointed. And so it's the same thing that happened to me in the past. And you throw that in your bag as well. And you continue on this journey collecting because you're, 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 you're moving on this journey depending on your past experiences for some validation or affirmation that this is how life is. When, listen, I think you need to come to a space so you can just chill and decide what you want. Sit down and release what needs to be released so that you can continue forward. And then I feel all the cooperative components will line up for you. And I feel if you pray about this, these burdens, whatever they are, you will get help. You're not alone. Pray. There, there are people and spirits and animals, guides, your ancestors listening, the wind, the trees. You're never alone. Pray for what you want. Messages for cancers. So take the time to meditate to work on yourself. If you if sitting under that tree takes several weeks, I mean for some people losing emotional connections it's going to take some time. Because let's be real, we're talking about family friends, we're talking about ideas, beliefs, uh habits even habits within ourselves thought patterns attitudes all these things that keep us from moving forward these are things that you've accumulated from your past that you realize are holding you back right so it may take some time to do the work to to disconnect from relationships to move away from a job that is not serving you of course It's as if you feel if you release these things, you will fall and you won't know where you will end up. Well, let me paint a different picture for you. I feel like as soon as you, you make a decision to release connections from your past, saying these old mindsets aren't work, this, this old mindset is not working for me anymore. And you, if, especially if you can identify what that mindset is. And that is where meditation comes in. So you can sit with yourself and get to understand your emotions. Why you feel this way? What is keeping you attached to, to these beliefs? And some of you, there are meditate, meditation programs out there that helps to unblock your wealth potential just by diving into these energies. So we have to invest time in ourselves, in our own emotions, our own feelings, our own energies. So we can know what it is that we want out of this life. If you don't know what you want, you're probably going to continue reliving past experiences. And using the past to, to determine what the future will be. Because most of us don't know how to release. We don't know how to be new, how to be renewed. The rebirth, you know, some people want that rebirth energy to begin to know who you are, to burn away all the old things, to take up that sachel or that sack, throw it in a fire and rid it and then go, hmm, where do I go from here? I'm going to have to start all over, write a new, a new identity, a new you, a new self. This is your life. And yes, we've been brought up in an environment where we've been programmed to live a certain way. But if it's not working for you, it's up to you to change it. It is all within you to align with the life of your desire. Align with your heart, your mission, your purpose. Okay? If you have any other queries, do leave me a message. Email me. My email is in the description box. 
any more information any more shuffle any more anything else wants to come out for cancerians last messages cancers of course i just knew it i knew i knew i knew it thank you for coming through i love you um congratulations to some of you on setting up your new businesses starting something new putting yourself out there look shamani a new way a new vision new perspective leaving the past behind realigning with your sense of wealth and health by tuning internally first you see all that love and nurturing that you would give to another person cancerian it is you that really need it the most right now so you're giving that onto yourself you're listening to yourself you're healing you and it's radiating out of you people are seeing you in such a beautiful presence you have so much love to give and that's what's making you wealthy you are aligning with your value because you see you have you are love you are just this walking light energy you're beginning to see your true self your true reflection because you're healing yourself internally it's so beautiful i feel i'm proud of you Congratu congratulations look you're leaving the 10 behind the 10 on 1s what ended you're focusing ahead on what's new a new destiny a new vision endless possibilities Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Hit the notification bell. Um, much love and gratitude. I'll see you in the next reading. Remember that all is within you, Cancerian. Take it easy out there.